Hey, joining us now on the Mar Army Rock Show, we have John from the band Roses of Unread out of Memphis, Tennessee, a band we've had on the show once previously. John, welcome to the show. Hey, thank you for so much for having me. I appreciate it. Hey, it's our pleasure, man. I've been a fan of your band for a while now, and if, um, if my math is right, it looks like you guys have three albums out already, and you're working on the fourth. Is that correct? Yeah, that's right. We um we we uh we built a home studio at our practice space um in the last year and um this is the first time we're doing all the tracking and editing and everything ourselves. Um and it's turning out really, really good so far. We've got uh, some good friends of ours that are gonna mix and master it for us. But um as far as all the, the production and tracking and all that, you know, that's it's completely DIY. We're doing it in house and we don't have any outside influences on it. It's, there, it's just what we want to do and the songs that we wrote and um, what we really think the world needs to hear right now. Now, uh, so does that count for the new single, Out Fallen, as well? Did you guys do that the same way? Yeah, Fallen is, uh, we did, we started, we did all the tracking for Fallen in the same studio. Uh, we did that a few months ago, and the the plan for that was just to give everybody a, a taste before we got into the the whole recording process, you know, we um, of, of the other 13 songs. So we wanted to give everybody a general taste of what to expect. And Fallen is pretty much the the middle ground for the album as far as um, it's really heavy, it's, it's but it's got good melody, it's got good background vocals, uh, it's got screaming, it's got a heavy breakdown, um, it's got riffs, leads, all that good stuff. So. It's a uh, it's a good taste of what to expect with the other thirteen songs. Of course, some of them are a little bit heavier, and some of them are are not so heavy. But Fallen is just a if you had to pick one song on the, on the new CD um, that that represented the whole entire thing, Fallen would be it. Um, and if you if you like the way Fallen sounds, uh, if you like the production, the same people that uh, mixed it and everything are, are doing the rest of the CD. And again, we. Uh, we tracked everything in our home studio and did everything ourselves on it. So it's a completely uh, DIY process except for the mixing and mastering. And you alluded this just a little bit in that answer, but uh, I picked up on it right away. So it seems like you guys have maybe taken just a bit of a turn towards a little bit of a heavier style than your other albums. Yeah, that was that was what Allison and I always wanted to do um, from the get-go. And and that's what our fans have always wanted from us. Every album we've released, our fans have always said, we want you guys to be heavier. Uh, you guys excel at, uh, you know, they told us we excel at breakdowns. We excel at having the Allison's beautiful vocals contrasted with uh, the main screams and, uh, you know, the heavy riffs and stuff like that. Uh, so we're all about, um, as we progress, we... We, we find ourselves getting heavier, but not just full blown straight metal. We try to be dynamic with it as well. Um, and, and if you listen to, to tracks like Fallen, then it's, it's so apparent on how dynamic we can, we can be. We, we have, uh, all different aspects of the spectrum in that one song. And, um, and that's what we try to encompass. But, uh, but overall, the, uh, the, the theme of the album, the, the title is called The Silver Lining, and it's just about, uh, it, it's something everybody can relate to, and it's about being in a dark place, and, but uh, it, taking a positive message away from it. And uh, it's, it's not so much a concept album, but, but every song on it relates to seeing the good in bad situations and having uh, those, those real, real intense moments in your life that you have to work through and then, you know, having those mellow moments in life as well. We have a few songs that kind of, uh, that are kind of like that. So, um, so yeah, that, as far as getting heavier, we've definitely done that. We've, we've all switched to baritone guitars and we're in a, a lot lower tuning now than we ever have been, but it's really worked for Allison's vocals and it's really worked for what our fans have always wanted from us. And we're extremely proud of the songs we've written and uh, us being able to do most of it ourselves. Um, and, and guys like you that believe in us are uh, the reason we're able to keep doing it. 
So, oh, I, I appreciate that, man. I definitely do believe in you guys and the following. Is I really do like the tournament. I think you guys have progressed really well. Now, for folks that um want to go out and support an indie band like you guys, and, and we're big proponents that so many bands are doing it like you guys are now, there is an Indiegogo campaign out there, and it already looks like it's doing really, really well for you guys. So tell folks a little bit about it and uh, what some of the incentives they can get on the campaign are. Yeah, well, uh, Indiegogo is a, is a crowdfunding site, much like Kickstarter, and a lot of people are put off by crowdfunding, but what crowdfunding is, is it gets your audience and it gets your fans involved in the process, whether it be a tour or whether it be an album cycle. Um, you're not just donating money to, to us or to another band, you're actually receiving perks. Like, for instance, um, we're putting the the Apple Magic Mouse up that we use in all the tracking and all the pre-production for these songs, and somebody bought that today. And so that's kind of oh, wow. a, you know, a once-in-a-lifetime little goody. Um, and I know if I, I, I was thinking about that. I was like, you know, if one of my favorite bands is Seven Dust or Kill Switch Engage or whoever was selling the keyboard or the mouse from the computer they used to write all those songs, man, I'd be the first one to jump on that. And um and it was it blew me away. Somebody actually bought it uh today. Um we had a little package that included that with the C D and a T shirt. So um but there's all different levels. You can you can certainly contribute um and, and receive no perk if you just want to contribute and donate. But there's also you can do uh like Allison's auctioning off all the dresses she wore and all the music videos. We have uh T shirt and C D packages you, you can you can get an immediate download of Fallen sent straight to your email, and you can also receive the uh, the physical CD once we get it pressed and, and everything. You receive it before anybody else does, um, and you can also receive it in your email as soon as it's ready before it's even pressed. So um, I know when some of my favorite bands do crowdfunding, I'm always the first one to jump on it. Um, and what it is, like we talked about earlier, uh, it, it, we're asking for $4,500, and you have to take 20%, about 20% of that gets put away for self-employment tax right off the top because, you know, it is a business and we do have to pay taxes on that income. So what that's going to cover is uh, the mixing, mastering, and getting those physical CDs pressed. Um, if we surpass that goal in the 45-day period, then that's going to go straight to uh, new designs, new T-shirts, uh, get put back for tour support um, so we can branch out and go further when we go out on the road, that sort of thing, um, get our website up and running. So, um, you know, we're not sticking any of this in our pockets. This is all going towards, um, you know, straight band expenses. Uh, we built, we, we put every dime we made in, uh, 2013 and 2014. We put every dime we made into our home studio. Because we've been to so many studios and we've had so many different producers and, and, uh, we've had people that thought they knew what was best for us in the past and, uh, the final product ended up being a little bit different than what we were expecting. So this time around we said, why don't we just do all the tracking and everything ourselves? And that way, we have this vision, and we want everybody else to see this vision we have and, and, and hear it the same way we are. And we figured the best way to do that was to record everything ourselves and write all the songs ourselves, not have any outside influences. Um, our good friend Dave Cal, who helped us record our last self-titled CD, He's actually going to be mixing it for us. He mixed Fallen for us, and um, it turned out just great. He's he's right on the same page as we are as far as what kind of sound we want. Um, so so yeah, that's pretty much the the Indiegogo crowdfunding campaign. You didn't know uh, one item you didn't mention there too. That's pretty cool. If uh, if some people wanted, I guess maybe pull some money that they could even uh, for the right price have you guys come to their house and play a show. It looks like. Oh yeah, there is a there. I forgot all about that. There is a house party perk on there for a thousand dollars, and um, it's got to be it's got to be within a certain distance from our hometown, of course. Um, but basically, yeah, we we can load up the the gear and everything and come play a party either in a, a club that you rent out or your backyard or your house or whatever. We just uh, if you want to buy the perk, you just have to you know we'll talk about it ahead of time, but. Yeah, we're offering cool stuff like that. You got a chance to to receive executive producer credit on the album. You got a chance to 
um, get some of the dresses worn and all in by Allison in the previous three music videos. And you've even got a chance to be in uh, our next music video. So uh, there's all kinds of cool little things right there. Um, but yeah, like you said, if people want to pull together and and help us out, then uh, we turn we certainly will turn around and um, and and give you a perk and give you a reward that's well worth it. And uh, that'd be a I'm nice sorry. little uh, backyard barbecue party right there. I think. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that would be that would be great. You know, we're all from Tennessee, man. So barbecue is is our thing. I'm from I'm from around yeah you know we're all from around Memphis so that's in our blood <laughs> but uh, but yeah the the idea behind it is to just make our fans and and make it, make the world just feel like they're having a big part of this not just oh we went and saw them at a show or we bought their CD on iTunes or whatever we want people to actually be a part of this and help make this happen with us and. Um, and my favorite bands give me an opportunity to do that to them. Um, I'm always one of the first ones to jump on it. Is uh, we've written, we wrote like 20 of the coolest songs I've ever heard in my life, and we had to narrow it down to about 14. So it's a, I mean, it's still a pretty big album. Most albums nowadays are 10 to 12 songs, and it's 14 of just the, the coolest songs that I think the world needs to hear, and um, and our fans need to hear. And uh, and we really can't do it without our fans at this point because we kind of thrown every every dime we have at it. So um, if you want to check our Facebook out um, on our Instagram, all that stuff, then there's links to the Indiegogo campaign on there where you can just. Uh, I'm posting regular updates. There's a couple. There's a video up right now. It's got videos of us tracking and talking about it, and I'm about to post another update here soon. Um, with some more tracking videos, so it'll be, it's fun, uh, we've, out of the 4,500 goal, I think we've, uh, we've almost hit 1,500 as of today, and that's, uh, just that, just as, after a week of doing it, so, um. Man, I, I wish you guys the best of luck getting it, and I'm gonna make sure, uh, we go ahead and, uh, mention that again on the show tonight, and we're gonna be playing some music for you guys tonight, and, uh, hey man, just one quick thing before I let you go, tell me, because you don't see a ton of this anymore, tell me a little bit about uh, the dynamic of having a husband and wife, uh, team there in a band together, and how that works out, and like, being on tour and stuff. Oh, well, it's, it, it's, it's really the coolest thing, man, because, uh, you know, when you're in a band with your, with, for your best friends, you know, and you're and you're you're married to your best friend. It's just kind of like being in a band with your best friend. Um, when Allison and I got together and decided to form this band, you know, seven or eight years ago, that was kind of a deal. Like we both wanted the same thing, and that's just how it worked out. But I'll uh, give you a little behind the scenes look. Most bands that uh, have a female in the band. Uh, I would not all of them, but most of them, the female is either related to another one of those band members or she's dating or married to one of those other band members. <laughs> um, I didn't realize that until we started doing shows with a lot of other female bands, but, um, you know, like Skillet, the, uh, the bass player and the, yeah. and the guitarist are married, um, uh, and, uh, let's see. I know Lucuna Coil, uh, I know she's she's in a relationship with Jim from Slipknot, so that doesn't really count. But uh, you, you can name any just about any um, any rock band or any band that has a female in it. Um, just from what I've seen personally, uh, that girl's either best friends or related to or in a relationship with. One of those guys in the band <laughs> to give you a little. You know, it, all, it only kind of makes sense. You're like, you know, yeah. you're you're out there touring, and who do you get to meet? Right, you meet the people you're with every day, and I guess that applies to a, a lot of different yeah. lines of work there. There, so, um, hey man, well the the new song "Fallen" is out there. It's really cool. We're gonna play that tonight, and we're looking forward very much to a uh, silver lining coming out. And uh, once again, folks, there's some really good stuff still left out on the crowdfund uh, there for these guys. So uh, check out Roses on Red out of Memphis, Tennessee. We've been a fan for a while, and we're going to keep following you guys. And, uh, hey, uh, John, thanks so much for being here on the show tonight with us. Well, I, I appreciate you guys always supporting us, and uh, we couldn't do it without you, um, without without your support and without all of our fans. So uh, it, it's extremely humbling to have somebody across the country uh, take the time to talk to me. Uh, that just makes my night. So thank you um, 
more than you think in me. I really, really appreciate it. Hey, John, best of luck to you, man, and uh, we'll keep our eyes out for Silver Lining as soon as that one hits. All right, sounds good. Well, we uh, we can't wait to, to get it finished and bring it out to the masses. Uh, we're really, really excited about it, and we won't disappoint. I can guarantee you that.